the world's a dangerous place. Get the industry's original and most trusted laser sighting system from Crimson Trace. A laser and light systems will enhance your effectiveness and help keep you and your family out of harm's way. I'm a gun owner. Your views, advice, and questions are the driving force of gun talk. You know, I don't think that guns are scary things. Visit us online at www.guntalk.com. Call Tom now at 866-TALK-GUN. 866-825-5486. Let us know what you think about the gun-related issues of the day. Now, back to gun talk. All right, welcome back to Gun Talk. Uh, 866-TALK-GUN is how you reach us here. I'm Tom Gresham. You can also send me an email, tom at guntalk.com. And, of course, on Twitter, I'm at Gun Talk. Lots of things going on. Of course, we all like a good deal. We all like to be a winner. And our good friends at Springfield Armory have come up with, a, well, actually a couple of cool programs they're doing right now. Joining us to uh, explain this, because it does take a little bit of explaining, Drew Herbst from Springfield Armory. Hey, Drew, how you doing? Good. How about yourself, Tom? Well, I am good. You've actually got two things that you started in, well, recently. And I guess we ought to take them one at a time so we don't get all confused. Uh, you want to start with the dual program first? Sure, sure. Uh, we've got two new promotions we're really excited about here. Um, both of them started Friday. And uh, the first one's called the dual. And uh, what you get there is basically... Um, we're actually giving away 17 total firearms, uh, 14 pistols, uh, three rifles, and there's going to be a possibility of over 10,000 total winners. Hmm. So it's a, it's a pretty exciting uh, deal for us. And, uh, if you go to springfielddual.com, anyone has a chance to win. And that's D U E L for those who are thinking it's like two, it's a, it's a duel, like a duel to the death kind of spelling. Correct. And uh, each week you'll have two different pistols paired up so, you know, we can get the uh, the guys out there talking about would they rather have the 1911 range officer versus, say, the uh, XDM 525 competition model, which, you know, there's a lot of different uh, variations on the two models, and that should get the, the uh, people uh, conversing a little bit about what they like better on which one. Right. And they'll, they'll get to vote, and not, not only will they get to vote, but they'll get to vote and win prizes, so it's a it's a good good deal for them. Okay, I'm looking on your website here, and I see the uh, the 1911 range officer nine millimeter versus the XDM, the M1A SOCOM two versus the M1A Scout Squad, followed by the XDS 4.0 single stack versus the XDM, and then it kind of goes off the rails on this week five, a uh, national match versus an EMP nine millimeter. <laughs> right, right. Well, it's, again, like I said, um, it's just to get the conversation going, seeing what people like out there in the marketplace a little bit better. Um, our marketing group uh, and us got together and decided that we'd throw that out there just for fun uh, for the last week. Um, probably one of the, the main uh, uh, prizes, or actually I should say the grand prize, is you're familiar with uh, the five-time world champion Rob Latham. Yeah, I've heard of that guy. Yeah. You've heard of him once or twice? <laughs> Yeah, so you really you can vote every hour um, on the hour, and every time you vote, you get a chance to win. Ooh. But well, yeah, which is a great deal. But every person that votes, say you enter three times, you still have three votes to win. But if you vote every hour on the hour, you could have multiple chances to win. So with that, the grand prize is actually. Uh, trip out to Mesa with Rob and train with Rob for a day shooting. So, Whoa. Pretty, yeah, pretty exciting deal. There's not very many people that get that opportunity. Um, obviously, he's a great guy, so it should be a lot of fun. I mean, it, that reminds me of that old uh, commercial where they end up saying, you know, an, an, a day with Rob Latham at the range, priceless. <laughs> right. you exactly, know, holy exactly. Cow. Besides the fact that uh, he he's a pretty fair shooter, he's just an awful lot of fun to hang out with. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's a pretty decent shot. <laughs> yeah, pretty good. It's, so it's called uh, the the duel. Actually, what we're doing is we're putting two guns against each other, and they're dueling it out. So that's why it's the D-U-E-L. Give them the website again for that. It's springfieldduel.com. Okay, springfieldduel.com. You can go there, and that's up and running right now. That is up and running right now. As a matter of fact, today on Sunday here, there's going to be $120 gift cards 
to our web store given out. So if you get them there today, you got a, uh, right. a chance to win a twenty dollars gift card, and we're giving away a hundred of them. Okay, so that's one of the deals. That if you're lucky, you win. But your next promotion is one where everybody wins. Yep, everyone's a winner with our uh, our gear up promotion. Now the gear up runs August first all the way through uh, October thirty first, and that promotion basically is for every Springfield Armory purchase, whether it's uh, an XD, XDM, XDS, or a 1911 pistol, you're actually going to have a chance to redeem uh, three additional magazines and a magazine pouch. Now, is that like in addition to the mags that come with the pistol? Correct. So you're actually going to get almost uh, possibly up to $135 worth of gear free just for buying the pistol. So you you buy the pistol, you get the mags that come with it, and then you can get an additional three mags on top of that by sending something in? That's correct. Holy, you guys really have lost your minds. <laughs> I think so sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember it wasn't very long ago, we were just trying to find a magazine anywhere. This is pretty cool. Right, right. And there's, there's two ways to redeem it. Um, you can actually visit the website, which is springfieldpromo.com. And on that site, uh, you can electronically send us a copy of your receipt and uh, enter all your information, and we will then send you everything. Or else, uh, at the dealer level, we're also sending out some point-of-purchase displays with tear-off sheets, and we're letting all the dealers know this is going on. Obviously, they Mm -hmm. should be well-prepared for it. And you can just tear it off and do it the old-fashioned way and just mail everything in as well. Okay, now is this for guns, only guns purchased after August one? It is after August 1st, and for both programs, I should say, well, for, for the gear up, it's only new pistols. Ah, right. Okay, so, you, so not used, used guns. Pist- used firearms don't qualify, yes, basically. Gotcha. Yeah, so if you buy a new gun uh, on or after August 1, and it ends, you say, October 31st? Correct. Halloween, so it's all over when uh, the witches sing. <laughs> right, right. There you go. Uh, outstanding promotions. This is very cool. I mean, you... You're going to get a lot of people's attention because being able to go out and get yourself three extra mags is a that just made that gun a whole lot less expensive. Sure, and they get the uh, additional double mag pouch to hold those ah. magazines as well, so yep. they're yep. in good shape. Exactly right. Okay, so that program, and you can reach all those if you just started at the Springfield Armory at Springfield Armory dot com. You could get to all of those from that site too. Correct. Right on the home page, there's. Uh, you know, multiple little uh, headers there, and it'll it'll rotate, and you can select which one you want to. All right. And one of the fun things about this is with this with the dual program, there are videos available, and we actually did one. I don't want to give away too much, but did you ever see somebody shoot an EMP and an M1A national match at the same time? <laughs> no, no, no. That is a, that's kind of a, a fun comparison, but. Uh, yeah, please uh, go out and check that video out. Yeah, we're, we're going to have a bunch of fun with that. Well, Drew, this is uh, you guys have been up to your old tricks because this is a great promotion, and it's kind of a recreation on the uh, the last one where you get the mags. You did this a few years ago, and I'm sure that people have been saying, why don't you do that one again? Right, right. It was very successful when we did it. And when you go to the website, you'll actually see the list of magazines that come. The last time we did it was couple magazines, and they're all the same magazines. So this time, say, for instance, you buy a Mm subcompact. Well, if you do do that, you'll get one of the high-capacity magazines as well as two of the flush-fitting magazines. So we've really stepped it up this time for the gear promotion and uh, and the the, uh, the dual promotion as well, and we're pretty excited with, you know, 10,000 prizes that can be given away. So hopefully people will get out there and vote and... uh, Purchase some uh, Springfield firearms and get a bunch of magazines and uh, gear free. Neat stuff. Well, listen, Drew, thank you so much. It's a, a, a couple of great promotions, and I know people are going to take advantage of them. Besides all that, they uh, they get a chance to win in the first one and the chance in the second one to buy great guns from Springfield. Oh, and I just got to tell you, I'll share this little personal deal. As we're doing this interview, I am wearing an XDS 3.39 millimeter. <laughs> Excellent. I appreciate that. Don't leave home without it, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I carry as well. All right. Listen, you take care. Thanks so much, Drew. Thanks, Tom. All right. Yeah, check it out. Uh, the Springfield Armory. You know, you can just go to Springfield-Armory.com and both those promotions are there. Pretty cool stuff. Don't go far. We'll be right back with more Gun Talk.
pleasant bodyguards. Carry more comfortably. Walk more confidently. When it comes to personal protection, nothing beats a bodyguard. Choose the lightweight, compact, and concealable Bodyguard 380 pistol or the Bodyguard 38 revolver, both with a built-in laser sight. The Smith & Wesson Bodyguards. Carry more comfortably. Walk more confidently. If you're looking for a safe and trusted way to sell your firearms, look no further than Dury's Gun Shop. I trusted them to sell my dad's collection. They built their business for over 50 years on honesty and customer service. Dury's Guns will buy any size collection or estate, none too big or too small. Selling your firearms to Dury's Guns is easy. Go with the pros. I trust Dury's Guns. Dury'sGuns.com. Hi, I'm Tom Gresham. For more than 40 years, I've been watching an environmental disaster in my backyard, and it actually impacts all sportsmen in America. I'm talking about the massive loss of land on the Louisiana coastline. The U.S. Geological Survey said the swamps and marshes of coastal Louisiana are among the nation's most fragile and valuable wetlands. That land is disappearing. The Mississippi River Delta hosts as many as 10 million ducks and geese every winter. These are birds which migrate northward through the states, all the way to Canada. The wetlands of the Delta support some of America's best fresh and saltwater fishing. And here's the deal. The wetlands of the Mississippi River Delta are disappearing at a rate of one football field every hour. One football field every hour. Gone. We can reconnect the river with its wetlands and restore the Delta, but we need your help. Please visit vanishingparadise.org. That's vanishingparadise.org. Brownells proudly celebrates 75 years of history and heritage as the world's first choice for firearms, accessories, ammunition, and gunsmithing tools. So whether you're a gunsmith in need of parts and supplies, a new shooter looking for the perfect holster, or a skilled competitor seeking the latest gear, Brownells has what you need. And best of all, every purchase comes with the industry's only forever satisfaction guarantee. Visit us at brownells.com. Gun Talk encourages you to support the local sporting goods store, gun stores, ATV dealers, and other local businesses in your area who advertise on this station and Gun Talk. Only together can we protect our rights. You're listening to Tom Gresham's Gun Talk. All right, back with the 866-TALK-GUN, 866-TALK-GUN gets you in. Tom at GunTalk.com is the email over on Twitter. I'm at GunTalk. Uh, join us over there for the conversation. By the way, if you don't, if you aren't on Twitter, you're missing out. And yeah, 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 I know, Twitter's goofy. I mean, come on, it's, it's a silly idea. Except that what happens is it becomes a news feed for you. And if you are following me on Twitter, then you're getting news all the time of things that are going on in the gun rights world. And so as stories break, as lawsuits either are filed or settled, as people say ridiculous things about guns and gun rights, we've got them right there. And you'll know about them. You'll know about them first. So that's really what Twitter is. Think of it as a a news feed, a news wire that you set up for yourself. And so when you follow me on Twitter at Gun Talk, again, you'll get all that. So don't don't miss out on that. It's good stuff. Uh, hey, I wouldn't send you stuff if it wasn't good. <laughs> it's kind of a continuation of what we do here every week on Gun Talk. All right, eight six six Talk Gun Line Four. Buddy's with us out of Kenner, Louisiana, just on the South Shore. Hey, buddy. How you doing, Tom? How you doing today? I am good. Did you buy this gun, or are you thinking about buying this gun? I'm thinking about buying it. That's what I wanted to get your uh, your take on it. Okay. It is a, an Adams Arms. Uh, you, you think about getting the whole gun, not just a part, right? You're doing the whole uh, AR? Yes, it's a it's a blem. A blem is just the exterior mars and scratches, right? Ah, yes, exactly. So wh- how much are you going to have? It's a piston gun, so how much are you going to have to pay for this? Around 600 <laughs> Buy it and run before they figure out what happened. Right, because that's what I wanted to find out, because I, I never heard of Adams too much, you know? You know, I'm not familiar with them at all, but here's the magical part. It's an AR. 
there's not it's not rocket science. It's it's been out a while. A six hundred dollar piston, and you're sure it's a piston gun, right? Yes, it is a piston. Yes. I mean, uh, is it a local store? No, it's through Buds. Okay. I would. I'm trying to find a reason to say no, but I yeah. can't find. I mean, it's like I'm thinking if you don't buy this, it's going to be gone. You, yes, you know, exactly. so that's what I was just, thinking about. In fact, it may be gone by the time you get off this phone call. I'd go buy the darn thing, man. Right. That's uh, um, this is uh, the first time I've uh, I've thought about a piston. You know. Well, sure. I mean, why not? Besides, I mean, that's a good price for any AR. And if it's a blimp, if all it is is some exterior, you know, and maybe you can call them and say, look, I mean, how how blimmed are we talking about here? I mean, did somebody drag it behind a truck down a dirt road or gravel road? Or are we talking about just a, a little bit of scuffing? What are we talking yeah, about? As long here? as it, um, it's just, you know, factory blimps, as long as it shoots, I don't care how it looks. There you go. Because the thing is, it's going to get beat up anyway after a while. Exactly. I, I, I don't know how you lose on that thing, honestly. I yeah, back, good. Uh, I, I, this is my, uh, I'm a first-time caller, a, uh-huh. a long-time listener, Tom, and you are very, very helpful with things like this. Well, well, thank you. I appreciate that. You know, I'm just up there on the North Shore. I'm not very far from you. So <laughs> it's, uh, uh, I'm glad that you called in. And, uh, you know, at this point, you need to quit talking to me and need to go buy this gun before somebody snatches it out from under you. So go, go get this thing, buddy. Go get them, man. Yeah, but I have one more. Uh, All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. We got time for it. Bring him back up. Yeah, one sec. I, I just wanted to ask. Um, I I listen to you on the podcast. Is there a way? Because I can't receive you out of Baton Rouge. That's the only oh. way I'm, I can receive you is through the podcast, right? Sure. You can also get it live uh, if you go online uh, to our website, GunTalk dot com. And go to uh, the listen. It will give you a list of stations which do live streaming. So you can listen on live, uh, live streaming if you don't have a station in your area. So, yeah, you're a little bit far for our Baton Rouge station to, to squeeze all the way down there. But that will work for you. And, and so, at least I appreciate you uh, getting the podcast. I appreciate the call. By the way, if you do happen to miss some shows, you can, of course, pick it up at the podcast. Stitcher, iHeartRadio, uh, iTunes. You can even go to our website, guntalk.com, and you can pull down not just last week's show, but last year's show, shows from years and years ago. We are, by the way, kind of on the uh, rounding third, heading to the home stretch of hitting 20 years on the air uh, right after the first of the year. Uh, that just blows me away. I can't even believe that we've been doing this for 20 years. It's it's just fun. It's just talking about stuff. It's the stuff that we're going to be talking about anyway. Peter has joined us out of South Carolina. He's online, too. Peter, you got a range report, huh? Yeah, well, it's sort of a range report, I guess. I won't say I'm older, but I'll say I'm experienced, and I've been in this <laughs> modern sporting rifle kick for a good many years and have bought uh-huh. a couple through the years. And several years ago, I bought a lower receiver, just the bare receiver. Figured it was something small, easy to store, and sooner or later I'd do something with it. And I just recently decided, time to do something. Sent mm-hmm. off to Midway for a parts kit and a butt stock for the, the lower receiver parts kit. Mm-hmm. And I surprised myself. It just went together real easily, no problem. It's not something people need to worry about. Uh, And I'm not a machinist uh, or a hobby gunsmith. I'm the kind of guy who tries to tune up his car and doesn't start when I'm done. (laughs) Um, But it it just all went together and Uh seemed to function fine. So I took an upper off my Armalite carbine and popped it on and took it to the range and everything went just fine. So now here's the unfair question for you because I can't really tell you what I want to do. But Mm -hmm. I don't want to just build another .223 because I've got a rifle and a carbine. Mm-hmm. So if you were putting together a modern sporting rifle, mm-hmm. what would you do other than a standard two twenty three? Do you have any calibers that would be just you know, yeah. fun to take to the range to be different? Absolutely. I would. Let me just take a look here. You are in South Carolina. I think you're okay there. I would build a 300 blackout, 300 AAC blackout, uh, and I would go ahead and get it set up for a suppressor and put the paperwork in and get a suppressor and have, like, the time of my life with that. That is just such a fun rig. That's what I would do. Well, that sounds like a real good thought. Uh, again, I encourage people to look into this do-it-yourself because, you know, when you look into these parts supply houses, there are so many options available mm-hmm. in uppers, and uh, you can really personalize 
what hey, you Peter, doing. Let, let me ask you a question. For instruction on how to put this together, did you go on YouTube, or what, what source did you use to figure out how to do this? Well, that's the, the kind of the bad news about it. I, I got on the Internet, and I looked at a couple of the... Um, the, the descriptions there. I didn't look at YouTube. I just looked at the, the text descriptions because the, the lower parts kit I got was disappointing. They didn't have any instructions with it. It was just a bag mm-hmm. of parts. Mm-hmm. And, you know, for somebody who's never built one of these before to look at these parts and figure out what was supposed to go where. It's bewildering. Uh, it took, me, took me a little while, but it worked. Yeah. Well, that's good. And, and just for those who don't know, you can go to YouTube. There are lots of videos there on how to put one together. It really is simple. Uh, that's the beauty of the AR platform, the modern sporting rifle platform, is that they're just stone simple. You could swap parts out. You can build your own. I know a lot of people. Look, thank you for the call, Peter. I know a lot of people who have purchased a dozen or more lowers. I mean, because you can buy lowers for anywhere from 100 even less, up to a couple hundred bucks. And they just stuck, and they're small. And they just stuck them in the back. And now and the lower is the... Um, the firearm part of the gun. So that's got the serial number on it. And they've just got them stuck on a shelf somewhere thinking, you know, one of these days I may want to build one or they may say I can't have one, so now I've got them. And you could put a dozen lowers just in a small box. There's not a lot to it. And then you can get the parts kits, go to Brownells uh, or a lot of other places, get what you need, put it together. And don't forget, you can have one lower put together and put different uppers on it in different calibers. So even you don't even have to build another gun. Just get you a 300 AAC blackout upper, drop it on top, and you're ready to go. I would encourage you, if you're trying to think about what's the next fun thing I want to do, think suppressor. Uh, yeah, the wait list is it's like a, almost an hour, a year now, but man, talk about fun. Yeah, once you go silencer... You never want to shoot one with that big, loud bang. One of Talker Magazine's 100 most important radio talk show hosts in America. You're listening to Gun Talk, heard every week at this time on great radio stations across America. Stay tuned. Gun Talk is coming right back. all aspects of gun ownership every week on this fine radio station. You're listening to Gun Talk with Tom Gresham. All right, I got an email from uh, Christopher. He says he inherited a Smith & Wesson Model 52-1, and it's set up for wad cutter bullets, flush-mounted wad cutter ammo, and I uh, wanted to know if he could just seat regular 38 bullets deeper, flush mount them. No. Use wad cutters in that. That's a match gun. It is set up, it's sprung for, it's set up for light loads, for water cutter loads. It is specifically was set up for shooting traditional bullseye pistol competition. Great guns, uh, not made anymore, but uh, you do, as far as I know, you need to use regular wad cutter ammo, flush mounted. And that's how they were set up, but that, that's what I would certainly run in them. Let's see here. I want to go on down to uh, line two. We've got uh, Matthew. He's in Metri, Louisiana. Yeah. Hello, Matthew. How you doing? I'm doing great. Listen, Good. I got a tip for our buddy, uh, our buddy, buddy in Kenner. Oh, okay. Uh, I listen to you on AM 1330 out of Pensacola, Florida, on a sea crane radio. The oh. AM signal propagates across the Gulf of Mexico, and oh. when the weather's good, I can hear it as though that you're in a local station. You know, it's funny. I actually have one of those uh, crane radios because it's like the very best AM radio I've ever found. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it, it'll drag in a signal uh, from an incredibly weak station, but it's even better when they transmit over the Gulf of Mexico. Sure, that's running across the water. So that's very interesting. So in New Orleans, you're getting a signal out of Pensacola. Yep, as long as you don't have a big old power line like right next to you or anything uh-huh. like that, uh-huh. uh, get the signal in clear until some idiot starts up his weed whacker. And then that that radio, as I remember, has a great big speaker on it also, so you get some pretty good uh, bass sounds out of what, it, it'll run off of batteries or off of uh, 110. Right, uh, for the best radio AM radio reception, run it off of batteries for a weak station. 
Oh, interesting. Okay, did not know that. But I, yeah, I've used that to pick up uh, ball games from distant, uh, you know, signals, all sorts of stuff. So it's now it's the CM Crane. Is that what it is? C Crane Radio. This is the C C Radio Two. Okay. Yeah, if they just look up the Crane Radio, C R A N E. Uh, if they're looking for a, a radio that'll get distant signals, that's a good one. I've been ha- I had one of those for many years. Hey, Matthew, appreciate that. Appreciate you listening. Pass that along. Good information. Thanks, sir. Line three, Billy, Heber Springs, Arkansas. I've been to Heber Springs. We did some camping out there. Hey, Billy. How are you doing? <laughs> I was wanting to call. Uh, I've got a Ruger carbine. It's a forty-four caliber. Mm-hmm. Uh, the semi-automatic. And- the semi-auto version. Same auto. Oh, okay. And uh, I, uh, I've been shooting with it as far as target shooting and just planking with it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've used jacketed bullets, but someone uh, told me that I didn't need to use uh, a a lead uh, round, the rounded lead bullet right. cartridge in this particular rifle, and I was wondering if you could tell me why. Well, you could use anything you want in there. It's a forty four Magnum. What would be ideal is if you could shoot, uh, and you could shoot it single shot with forty four Special ammo, but I don't know if forty four Special ammo would actually make it run reliably. Uh, but you don't have to, are, are you loading ammo or are you just buying ammo for it? I'm just buying ammo for it. Okay. I would just buy the cheapest 44 Magnum ammo I could find, either locally or online, and run it through there just for going out and shooting and messing around. By the way, um, I, those are in pretty good demand. I would give you like 50 maybe even $60 for that rifle, man. I bet you would. <laughs> <laughs> you can't blame a guy for trying. <laughs> I don't think uh, I don't think you're going to get this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well. Okay, so I'm not much of a gun trader. What can I tell you? <laughs> well, look, I, yeah, I just buy the cheap stuff for that, and then uh, it's actually a really nice deer gun. Have you ever uh, hunted deer with it? Uh, back a long time ago when I was a kid, I, mm-hmm. I, I used to go out and try to deer hunt, but uh, you know how it goes, huh? <laughs> yeah, it, it's just, it's just, yeah, it's just a nice little short uh, handy gun, and Everybody always says, when's Ruger going to bring that out again? And I, I ask him every time. And, you know, I think if there were a way to do it, they would do it. There must be some kind of mechanical, physical reason not to because there's so much demand for it. But I think a, a 44 Magnum semi-auto would go over very well these days. So, But anyway, I would just yeah, shoot the cheap stuff in it, uh, just shop around. It sh- anything should work in there. It should work just fine. Appreciate that, Billy. Uh, let's see, one real quick one with Steve for our break here on line four. Hey, Steve, how are you? Hey, Tom. Uh, I got a couple of things. First off, I want to tell you that I really appreciate your show. I have a, I just recently come across it, but I've, I've learned quite a bit, and I really appreciate you, uh, you know, getting a second minimum point across and stuff like that. Thank you. But I wanted to, I wanted to comment on the Springfield thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, a couple of years ago, my wife got me a XDM forty five two five for uh, Christmas, Ooh, nice. and right out of the box, that thing has been the very most accurate pistol that I've ever owned, and I've owned a lot of pistols. Mm-hmm. But, but anyway, that's that's my comment on that. So I, they, you know, they, I appreciate they the just things. make good stuff. Yes, sir, they sure do. I appreciate the things that Springfield's doing for the regular guys, and. The XDM is a little expensive, but it's not unaffordable. You know, you know what I mean? Well, you know, it all depends. I mean, people say it's expensive, but there are a lot of very nice handguns that cost two thousand to three thousand dollars, which makes an XDM an absolute bargain. And, and the other thing is, and I always bring this up, Steve, is okay. How long do you expect your gun to last? And everybody goes, "Well, it's likely stop and go, well, forever." I said, "Okay, so you paid five hundred bucks for it, or whatever it is, and it's going to last forever." There's almost nothing else we buy, honestly, with the absolute expectation that will last our lifetime, other than maybe some hand tools, you know, craftsman hand tools. But everything else we figure has a a limited life on it, but we buy guns thinking they're going to last forever. So 
I think they're a good deal. If you find the one you want, buy it. Uh, if you can afford it, do it. Let's appreciate the call, sir. All right, got to take a quick break here. 866 Talk Gun. Be right back. You already know Liberty Safes are great values. Now they're offering an even sweeter deal for Gun Talk listeners. At LibertySafe.com, click on the Fat Boy Safe and type in Tom. Liberty will give you up to $250 off your purchase. Protect the things you value most. LibertySafe.com, click the Fat Boy Safe, promo code Tom, save up to $250. That's LibertySafe.com. LibertySafe.com. There's a rise in home invasions in America, and you need to be ready. Ready to protect yourself and your family. The Bedside Backup from Crossbreed Holsters keeps your gun at your bedside ready to go. It also folds flat for easy storage and travel. Take it with you and use with any hotel bed. To see more, go to CrossbreedHolsters.com. That's CrossbreedHolsters.com. The Bedside Backup is not a child safety device. If you carry a gun, you need training. Your concealed carry class was definitely not training. But time, money, and obligations keep you from spending days at a shooting school. The trusted folks at Gun Talk can help. Concealed Carry One, our DVD featuring the Vata Group, covers what gun, what holster, how to carry, where to wear your gun, and much more. Visit ShopGunTalk.com. That's ShopGunTalk.com. Look, this really is life and death. Learn how to stay aware, how to get away, and how to fight if you must. At ShotGunTalk.com, you can get the two DVD set, including Fighting with the 1911 with Tiger McKee. No matter what gun you carry, this vital training info can save your life. Learn the draw, the stance, reloading, vital gear from Gun Talk. That's ShotGunTalk.com. ShotGunTalk.com. You bet your life on your defense ammo. Get the proven performance of Nosler bullets in the new Nosler Defense Ammunition. Featuring the same technology as the famous Acubon line. Polymer tip or hollow point. Bonded performance handgun bullets for weight retention and barrier penetration. Available only in Nosler Defense Ammunition. In 9mm, 40, and 45 caliber. Also available in 223 with a 64 grain bullet. Visit Nosler.com. famous radio consultant once said he'd be off the air in a year. Whoops! Defending your Second Amendment rights since 1995 on over 150 radio stations nationwide. You're listening to Gun Talk with Tom Gresham. In just a few minutes, I'm going to be talking about how some gun owners, actually probably some of the folks you know, are helping to make sure that Democrats keep control of the U.S. Senate making sure that Obama gets the nominations he wants to federal judgeships to the Supreme Court, gun owners, making sure that the gun-hating liberals, the Democrats, not all Democrats are that way, understand. I'm just talking about the leadership in the Senate, stay in power because of what gun owners are doing. And I guarantee it's some of your friends. I'll tell you a little bit more about that as we as we get there. Line two, Tommy's in Flippin', Arkansas. Tommy, how are you? I'm all right, sir, and how are you? I am uh, great. You got a project? Uh, well, yeah, I've got my dad's uh, Savage Fox B double barrel shotgun. Ooh, the gun's nice. great, except for the stock, the finish on the stock, mm-hmm. and the forearm has a short, has a little small crack in it. And I was looking for advice on refinishing this. Mm-hmm. Well, for just the refinishing, that's one thing. The crack is a different thing. Yes. Um, I would go to Brownell's website because they're like the the ultimate source for anything involving cunsmithing. It's B R O W N E L L S, Brownells.com. They've got like for only 14 bucks the true oil stock finish kit. And you can refinish a stock with it. You know that you need to take the wood off of the frame. You know, you've got to take the butt stock off, take the forearm off. Get get everything out of the metal. Get the metal out of the forearm. 
when you're going to do refinishing. You can't do that with the metal on it. And it's not a big job. It's just uh, you go at it carefully and you can refinish it. Now, fixing a crack is a little bit could be a little bit more involved. There are several ways to go, and it could be as simple as glue. And if it's just a little crack where you can glue it, use something a lot on the order of um, surgical tubing, some kind of elastic band to squeeze it back together. Uh, you just be careful. A little goes a long way there. The other thing I would suggest you might want to do is call the folks at Brownells uh, during the week when they're there. Talk to their techs. They've got a number of gunsmiths on staff and say, look, this is my project. This is my problem. This is the crack I've got. And they'll say, okay, for the crack, you want to use this. And for the refinish, you want to use that. And these folks really know what they're doing. And it's just a fabulous resource to be able to call them and ask them about anything that has to do with gunsmithing, honestly. Oh, okay. I didn't realize they offered that service then. Uh, yeah, I, I was mostly concerned about getting the finish off of it, you know, I, I, because I am uh, familiar with the true oil, and I didn't know how to deal with the crack. Right. Uh, I would call and talk to one of their gunsmiths and say, this is what I'm faced with. You know what you might want to do is take a picture of it, like with your cell phone or something, and be re- ready to shoot him a, uh, a picture of it, and that way he'll have a much better idea of how big the crack is and what we're talking about. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Uh, can I ask one other question? That was all sure. one I called. Go ahead. I, I'm interested in a Taurus uh, PT 111G2 uh, in a nine millimeter. And um, uh, reading, you know, uh, on the blogs and people has bad things to say about Taurus. I really like the looks and the feel of this little gun. Do you know anything about it? I have used it. It's a it's a nice little pistol. And yes, the reason that people had bad things to say about Taurus was because for a few years there, the comments were warranted. They just weren't making good stuff. It is my impression at this point that they have turned the corner and they're coming back and making much better quality guns these days. Uh, but a lot of what you read on the internet is people who basically bought guns that didn't turn out to be as good as they thought they were going to be. And they're upset and they hold a grudge and I get it. I understand that. So, but I, I think they're better now. And it's like everything else. You just got to put your hands on it. And if that's the one you like, but here's the thing. Don't limit yourself to looking at only one gun. Look at several of them in that category. And if you, you say, okay, but I like the Taurus, then buy the Taurus. If I like the Ruger, buy the Ruger. If you like the Smith, buy the Smith. If, you know, that's where I'm going is find the one that fits your hand that just really feels good in your hands. That's the one you buy. Well, I like the feel of that one probably better than the shield. Okay, Beyond. well then, there you go. I mean, that's what I'm saying, is it? And then the next guy's going to say, but I like the shield better than this one. That's why we have choices. So buy the one that works for you, um, and you know that, that should work for you. But I, I appreciate that. Uh, let's see. We had a guy called in. Let's see. Um, okay, yeah, I'll I'll get this when we come back. We'll talk to Casey, and he wants to talk about uh, Bill Ruger's famous quote that no honest citizen needs more than a 10-round magazine capacity. Yeah, he did say that. Yeah, but you know what? It's been more than 10 years. Bill Ruger's dead. He doesn't own the company. The family doesn't own the company. They have no influence on the company. That's ancient history at this point it has nothing to do with the current Ruger company so yeah you can be mad at Ruger all you want to Mr. Bill Ruger but that has as I say nothing to do with the current company so we you know refine your target before you start taking aim and squeezing the trigger Gun Talk stands for safety, personal responsibility, and common courtesy. To be a part of the show, call 1-TOM-TALK-GUN. Gun Talk will be right back. All right, that's quick. Let's go straight to line one. Jim's been with us for quite a while. Hey, Jim, I appreciate your patience. What you looking for? Uh, uh, Tom, I just bought a Savage 9317 caliber GB. Uh, mm-hmm. No iron sights. Uh, do I have? It's got a three-eighths inch uh, scope mount on it. 
Do I have to go to a high powered rifle scope or can I use 22 or rimfire? You can go either way, but I, I certainly would not use 22 rimfire. You've got a very nice rifle capable of some high degree of accuracy. Yeah, I, agree. I wouldn't put a cheap. I wouldn't put a cheap scope on it. I would put uh, at least something with a nice one inch tube, regular built, big game type rifle scope. Okay. Spend two or three hundred bucks and get a good scope, and and you'd be you'll always be happy you did. Honestly. Okay. On side note, my son, grandson's got one of these. He showed me a target, and he had five rounds in it, size of a dime. It's unbelievable how good that thing shoots, isn't it? Yep. It's it, yeah. It, I haven't shot mine yet. Like, I don't have a scope on it. But uh, ah. uh, it's got a heavy barrel, so it's six pounds without the scope, and that helps a lot. Well, I would but, put a good something like a three to nine, even a four to twelve on there, uh, one inch tube, and go to town. You will love that rig. It's really going to work for you. Appreciate it, Jim, and uh, good good going with. That's a nice rifle. Uh, Mark's uh, on line three. He's at a uh, Bat Rouge in Red Stick. Hey, Mark. Hey, partner. How you doing, man? I'm good. You looking for a python? Man, look, I just want to ask you a couple of questions. Number one, I want to tell everybody out there to do one thing, okay? Find you a great gunsmith. God has blessed me with one of the best in Louisiana. You know him. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know if you want me to say his name here, but sure. I'll just use his okay. initials. Do it. JW. Oh, you could, you could say who it is? Uh, Jacob Welch. Okay. And uh, he's a good guy. Look, let me just tell you this. I bought a python years ago. I'm 59 years old, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I paid two, two, 285 for it. it was I'll a give you 300 gun, <laughs> 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 I, I, I don't have it. I sold that sucker for $650 oh. to buy a washer and a dryer. Well, and, and now they're two thousand. bring that gun back. No. Uh, short answer is, you know, now they're 2000 bucks used, $3,800. I'm seeing some of them listed. You can buy them on GunBroker. Uh, I, I say no. You never say never. And I have heard the people at Colt kind of hint and every now and then, maybe a python. But here's what happened. None of that tooling exists anymore. They, th- this is going to make you cry. They threw it all away. Uh-uh. They threw it all away. Because they weren't going to make revolvers anymore. They were going to get out of the business. They were making uh, M4s for the military, and some brilliant person somewhere in their past decided, we're not, we don't make guns for regular citizens anymore. We make it for the military. We're going to make tons of money, which is all great until we have a drawdown and the military contracts go away. And all of a sudden they're going, wow, what are we going to do? We're going to make guns for the civilians again. Yeah, except that they turn around and went, where'd all our tooling go? Man, that stuff went out in the garbage. We sold it for scrap. It's gone. Nobody has the art of, uh, now that I know of, uh, unless you go to a custom gun set probably, but no company can put out a revolver like that one with that beautiful cold blue. It, it, it was just... Well, I remember it took me six months to get it. I had to order Steinberg. Well, you remember Steinberg? You know, I remember Steinberg. You know, here's the thing. If they made it now, they would have to charge 3500 bucks for it because of the handwork they went in and the, and the polishing. The bluing is as much of, as anything a factor of having skilled, experienced polishers. Because you can throw a, a great blue job on a gun that's not polished right and it just doesn't look right. And it's hard to find somebody who can do that kind of polishing. However... I heard a little bird tell me sometime recently that maybe another company, just out of the blue, somebody you never heard of, could bring out a python. Man, would that be cool? Would you buy Would you buy a python if it was available right now, brand new? You could, you could buy one. You just have to get in line right behind me. No black helicopters here. Just the facts about gun rights and gun ownership. This is Gun Talk. 